In this video, we'll explore what you need to do for your reflective learning analysis assessment. Presumably, you're all familiar with various models of reflection. Some of them talk about reflecting in practice and some then later reflecting on practice. The model you have to use here is this eight step model. OK, so even if you are familiar with other models, that's fine. And maybe you'll draw in some uh, references from those. But you must complete all eight steps of this one. I can't emphasize that enough. You've only got 1,500 words, give or take 10%, uh, for this assignment. So even if you split each section equally, that would be just under 200 words per section. But what I would encourage you to do is try to use less words um, that are descriptive and focus more on the sections that require uh, greater critical analysis. For example, this first section asks you to describe what it is you want to reflect on. Now, it may be a practice visit that you've made, or it could be a critical incident, something that's happened, that's stuck in your mind, and you want the opportunity to think and reflect about um, more in depth. So this is where you describe what it is you're going to talk about. And when you look at the grading criteria, the higher marks are given for um, assignments that are more substantial and comprehensive. That means feel free to use as ma many references as you want to in, in this. More are always better. So it could be a case that you're describing something and it may be you're describing um, a practice visit that you've been on and that that visit is helping to achieve a national strategy around sexual health. We'll put in that as a reference. Step two is for you to take a look inside to reflect on how you're feeling about the particular incident or the visit that you've got under study here. So how did you actually feel? And don't just describe it in one or two words, but try to explore those feelings, reflect on them, maybe ask yourself some critical questions about where did those feelings come from? Why have you felt like this? What's the impact of how you feel? Step three takes into consideration any other relevant facts, any wider material that you want to talk about here in relation to the practice visit or the critical incident that you're exploring, anything else that's impacting on this whole story, uh, the scenario that you're painting for us. And step four goes back to more people watching, watching yourself and others. So maybe it's re reactions that you're looking out for, or the way people say things, or behave, or act, or change their mind, anything at all that, that you notice uh, within this particular encounter that you're now reflecting on. And step five is when you look back over the sections you've already written and rather than just um, describing events or persons or things that has happened, try to critically analyze them. So think of all the questions you want to ask from different dimensions. So you're exploring each and every aspect individually and then how each of those relate to an, one another. That's what critical analysis is all about. Step six gives you the opportunity to consider some possible alternatives. So it could be that whatever you've been um, exploring so far went down one particular route, but might there be other routes available? Could you or others have, have acted differently or said things differently? And if so, how do you know that? So what reading have you done to put references in to show that yes, there are other alternatives and you know about them? Step seven, based on all that you've written so far, is asking you to explore um, your plans for future development. So has this reflection uh, revealed to you that you need to find out more about particular things or um, explore different ways of reacting or feeling or saying things? What's this reflection shown you up to this point and therefore what plans can you make for developing out of this further? And finally, step eight. This sets your reflection within the wider course that you've now been studying as sexual health skills. So from doing this module, has that given you any insights into this particular reflection? Or uh, maybe there are uh, issues around the reflection that could have been developed more in the course. So think about that by way of marrying up these two and giving feedback on how the two interrelate. Thanks for working through this video. I wish you every success in doing your eight-step 
uh, critical reflection. And don't forget to back it all up with as many references as you want and use the usual Harvard style for putting those references in. <laughs>